Hello, I am Mal. I'm back here with my buddy Sabouts. Sabouts, how are you, buddy? Oh, how here are we you? Are. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. back for some more Solaris, and hopefully, eventually, the smashing of some cat people face. Yes, that's, that's coming that's to the you goal. from yeah, right? 2017. <laughs> That's right. This is our first episode in the new year. I know. Well, that's right. That's right. I can't believe it took us all the way to the new year to start <laughs> recording well, again. God, who knew uh, that the last time they'd see Stellaris would be the next yeah, year? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, things happen. That's Life true. and such. Absolutely. Right? Well, it was the holidays. Very busy time. I got caught up on a bunch of stuff. Um, it was just rough for me in general. You know, getting mobbed by people for the last tickle me elmo doll and yeah oh our oh, oh come on now what is you going see that our science ships are getting chased i see Both that our science yeah. ships are getting chased away Bastards. oh where are their fleets we've got a massive pile of guys sitting on this planet over here which is now under our control i landed forces on it and took it over last episode i remember that so i guess i'm gonna move here into uh probably going, uh man? bayou Going into Bayou. Yeah, you see where, that system? Where are you, Bayou? And they've actually got two planets there, so if we could take both those planets. Okay. Finder. Got... Bayou. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. What do they got there? 4,000? I yep. think I went to go get repairs. Is that what I was doing? Um... That, that is what I was doing, yes, but does. I have no spaceport, so that's kind of that's kind of screwing up my chances of actually being able to get repairs. So I can meet you in Bayou. You jump in there now. Yeah, I'm gonna jump there now. I'm moving my troops kind of outside the system. Not gonna move them in just yet till the battle's up. It's like the remnants of their Federation fleet are there, but are moving away. Yeah, they just collided like 3K of their, uh, uh, one of their Federa Federation fleets collided with me. Oh yeah, there they go though, the other one's moving away. Okay, I'll go ahead and mop up these space stations here, I guess, and just land troops. Easy, uh, easy day. Last episode, we mopped up pretty much all of their, their, uh, resistance forces. There wasn't... Actually, they did have some larger fleets, now that I recall. They had like 150k fleets or so. Yeah, I thought so. I thought that's what the deal was. But uh, we've got about a combined might right here of almost 500k, so... There... We've actually got way more than that. We could almost sure. probably take on the Felinus Redacticus at some point. We're kind of getting there. Yeah, we are. Alright, I'll bomb this one right here if you want to go to the far end. Yeah, sounds good. I'll head straight there. And I'll go ahead and move my troops in now. And get them, I'll just send them straight to this planet, because by the time the troops get in and move, they'll be ready for conquest, for liberation. Let's see what are they doing up here some small armies not really anything they just got science ships flying around the enemy that is low about a 10k federation fleet that's nothing it just, they came back in um it's in another system uh, you got 2.8 going your way what is that I don't uh, know. Whatever diet. it was, just got, got insta gib. <laughs> I was it just was like, say. <laughs> it was like, we will defend a bit. It's like, no, <laughs> no, you won't be defending anything. It just got like tachyon lance to death. <laughs> oh, 155k. Wow. Wasn't expecting that. Not really sure where it came from. They're trying to warp away. I'm going to try to catch them. Uh, I don't think they'll be able to get away with the big fleet, will they? I'm not sure. I'm moving in real quick. I don't know if they're going to get away or not. The I don't even know where fleet might. I do remember oh, that. I do. The reason I I do remember that is because we were trying to stick together because that was like on the edge of space and we were concerned about it. That's right. Okay, I'm sending my yeah. fleet in after him now. All right. Well, if you engage, let me know and I'll jump to you. Yep. I think you might not even have to. I've got almost all the all the fellas are with yeah, you. Yeah, I've got the entire. 
the entire federation's following me right now. I've got almost 400k, 300k about. A little over. You're going to be able to handle it, you think? Oh, I don't know. Chances I hope so. High. Chances are high. <laughs> I warped in on them now, but I'm getting locked in on all these mining stations around me. They're trying to get away. I thought they were good. I thought they changed in the last update. I thought they changed priority targeting. I you think so, but the the problem is that I warped in like right next to the mining station. Oh, right next to them. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that'll do it. I'm still chasing them down, but oh, a little 13k fleet here trying to engage me. To try to stall me actually is what they're doing. And it worked because they're going to get away. Well, I'm just going to keep going on a rampage to chase I've them down. I've got a 14k here, but I'm disintegrating. Oh, man. Just wow. I'm just clobbering the hell out of them. Yeah, the, the rate that we bring down those small fleets is almost, uh, it's almost funny just how fast those fleets drop now. Yeah, that seems to be uh, the what is it, the Zrek Poor Serene Foundation. They seem to be the only ones putting up any fight. Oh, they warped back to you. You've got to be kidding me. They're coming for you. Okay, that's cool. And I'm um, okay. I'm gonna. Move I my will. I will engage if you're en route. Yep, I'm en route. I gotta get my troops out of here, though. I'm afraid they're gonna. Now nah, I'll get to them before they can get to your troops. You're fine. Okay. Yes, I am en route now. And I'm going to warp in right behind him. That's going to be pretty brutal. And I'm bringing the whole Federation with me. Except for the Velpecula Stars, who are, as usual, on their own program. But that's okay, they're taking planets, so... Alright, I've got about 12 days till I jump. I'm actually surprised at how well I'm doing considering how much they outgun me. Yeah, well we're all pretty much maxed out technology wise at this point. It takes like, for me it takes almost like, <laughs> like four years for a tech. Okay, I'm here. Alright. Once you engage, I'm going to jump. Yep, that's fine. I got the whole Federation with me. They'll be coming behind me any second now. But I'm already engaged with them. Alright, jumping. Go get some repairs and build some more ships. Sounds good. Where is the Federation? Are they coming? Yeah, they're still warping. There they come. Oh, yeah. Oh, they jumped. As soon as the whole Federation warped in, they jumped in. Or jumped out. How did they... How did they... I don't understand how they're spooling up so fast. I, I didn't look at either. their leader very close, but... I'm going to try to find them. I'm going to chase them down. Nah, they might not appear for a minute. Well, I'll go ahead and capture this planet here real quick. Okay, my forces that's, in. that's cool. I and, got the other one. Okay, awesome. So then I'll go ahead and bombard this one. I'll take it, and then I'll go hunt their fleet down. Because as well as, it, well as I've got all the allies with me. Oh, I'll I just real him. quick build like another round of ships and get repairs and then I'll come back in. They're in uh they're in Yadbeam. Or Yadbem. Okay. So it looks it like they're gonna be worth chasing them down. I had their their shields were gone. I was actually taking out their taking out part of the fleet. Yeah, it looks like they've healed back up already. I think they're going for repairs. I might chase them down right now. Let me see. Yeah, I'm gonna go for them. I wanna take them out right now whilst they're only 72% health. I don't want them to get fully repaired and reinforced. And if they sit on the space station and start trying to repair, I might be able to catch them before they can run. Because there's no, there's no stations between me and them, so I'll have a direct path to them. They probably won't. <laughs> Excuse me, they probably won't get away. They must have gotten wind of me coming. They decided to cancel the repairs. Yes, I did warp in. And they're trying to run. Well, I guess just stay after them so they can't repair. Yeah, I'm going to keep repairing. Uh, uh, just keep chasing them, I guess. And then 
once you get kind of repaired up, you can, I guess, you just keep taking planets, and I'll keep chasing them down once I've got the Federation following me. Ah, uh, they're doing that. They're doing that crap at Light's End again. <clears throat> Where did they run to? Where the heck? Okay, I'm gonna go destroy this station real quick while I try to find them. Hope. Nope, that's not them. Valpecula Star is cruising around too with 142k, so if they bump into them... They might have went back into their own system. Oh, I just saw them. They were in here. They warped out. I don't know where they went. Okay, I think they went back to their own system to repair. So we might be alright for a while. I guess while I'm here, I'll go ahead and take this planet. Except... I think... My troops were all destroyed. Your troops were destroyed? I guess I must not have been paying attention. They must have been attacked. Well, they were landed? Um, no, they, they were floating next to a planet or... Yeah, I don't have them anymore. They were destroyed. Well, that's a bummer. It must have been a small fleet that caught them. It wouldn't take much. That or that 135k fleet went and swept them up when I wasn't paying attention. I'll just have to start building some more. I've got a world for that, so... Ground forces. I could just start building gene warriors then. Which are much better. Alright, I'll just build a bunch of gene warriors. So there's no point in me really going for this planet then if... Well, actually... My allies have troops so maybe if I bombard this they'll attack it they should they did in that other system I've got it by uh, the fortifications are down to zero so nobody's attacking it just yet we'll see if they do if they don't I guess where's it uh, where's this at because I still have troops on that Athes other planet Athesa in the Yad Bem system yeah if you want to send troops here my troops are I'm in the process of building troops again all right if you keep that secure then I can come down there Okay, sounds good. Yeah, I'll keep it. Uh, I'll keep bombarding it then, and keep it nice and dropped. And then once you take it, I'm gonna go after that. Uh, 135k fleet's chilling in S Mike right now, right by Light's End. Actually, really close to you. But they're just hanging out there on a planet that I captured a while ago. But the Velpecula stars taking planets, so that's good. They've got a couple. I uh, might lose these. Wow, they do. They have a lot. Velpecula stars is on a rampage right now. What are you going to lose? I almost lost those transports because... They fly they've too. got like little ships flying around and stuff. Oh yeah, they're not... Yeah, they're playing it... Uh, they're playing pretty good when it comes to that. I managed to save them, but... I lost my leader. They are doing. But that's a, okay. I've got a spare. They're doing a very good job. Doing a very good job at cleaning up our stragglers, our reinforcements, and our troop transports. All right, jumping. Oh, we've got some activity towards our actual systems. 3,000 uh, 3, uh, military power in Stratol. It just warped away. I was going to say, I must, have, I must have just missed it. It is floating around. Probably trying to 
clean up our transports. That seems to be what their kind of their plan is. Clean up troops coming in and, and small ships. I will admit, they've played guerrilla tactics very well with us when it comes to trying to destroy our reinforcements. They've got little 6k, 10k fleets floating yeah. all over the place trying to catch yeah, stray do. ships. I've been staying in Light's End for that purpose. I've been bouncing back and forth there and picking up my reinforcements. Yeah, because that's where they were. That's where they were sitting. Because all of our reinforcements were taking Light's End and the AI was smart enough to station just not, not even a big fleet, just about 3k there. Enough to destroy any ships that would be coming through alone trying to reinforce, so... That makes me think of a. Uh, you ever heard of a game called AI War? Uh yeah, I have actually. Yeah, I want to play that game. I have the game and I've played it a little bit, but I'd really love to dig into it because supposedly the AI is super well programmed in that game. They're very smart. They adapt very well to the enemy, or to you, the player. All right, awesome. That plan it's under control. I'm gonna go for the big fleet. Oh, it moved. Where did it move to? It's not here anymore. Yeah, I wonder if that game's two players. I've, n I never. I'm pretty sure it is. I would be sure. They're coming out with AI War too. They just launched a Kickstarter for it and got it funded. Raised yeah, a lot dev, of money. The devs actually reached out to you about that. Did they? Yeah. I, yeah. About, oh, about I, number two. Yeah. Yeah, they reached out to me as well. I, I've played their games before. I've played... Uh, I, I I mean, it seems cool. I haven't tried it. I played The Last Federation. And I could have swore that I played another game of theirs, but I can't think of it off the top of my head. The Last Federation and... I'm sure there's something else. But, uh, yes, very good games. And uh, I'm going to do a series with AI War at some point because I've had it for a long time and I very much uh, want to play that game. Their 135k fleet is flying all over the place. I'm trying to pin where it's going so I can chase it. Wow. Okay. I just lost it. Oh, they're going for the Vilpecula Stars. No way. They've got about 135k and they're going for them because the the Valpecula stars are actually in their home system. Oh, really? Beating them up. Yeah, it's kind of funny. So I'm going to try to see if I can. I'm only one jump out. So if I can get oh, in I there. Oh, I see it. I see it. I'll jump too. Yeah, they're beating on each other pretty good. I'd love to be able to catch them, but I'm sure they'll warp out as soon as I jump in. But still, it'll feel good to go in there and beat them up in their they're home. Try turf. They're trying to jump out right now. Okay, I just got there. I'm going to try to close in on them, but I don't think it's going to work. Oh, man, they're getting smashed hard. Yeah. See that? <laughs> yeah. Holy moly. Wow. The Pecula Stars lost about 20K, and they've lost their whole fleet. I haven't even gotten to them. The Velpecula Stars has just obliterated them. <laughs> wow. Well. What the hell do they have on board? I don't know, but I'd be curious to see what they Phase disruptors, large matter disintegrators, tachyon lance. Wow. What is so good about They must just have really good upgrades then. Uh, large matter disintegrators and medium matter disintegrators and tachyon lances is what those battleships have. Oh, but they've, they've got, got crystal. A they've got two crystal forge platings on there. That might have something to do with it too. That they're more resilient. Maybe, my ships, but... are, my ships feel kind of glass cannony. Even my ships, though, aren't that. I'm looking through my ships now to see what I'm doing wrong. Cause they just, maybe I just need more weapon slots. Maybe well, get rid of the point of... defense. I'm looking at one of your ships right now, and it's... It looks like your ship's identical to theirs. 
Yeah, I'm not really sure though. They they took them out super fast. And maybe it was they, just that particular encounter. Yeah, they only lost about 20k, and they I lost. I saw and, it, and the, yeah. <laughs> the enemy lost like all 155k almost instantaneous. I'm gonna start harassing some of these systems around us. Um, they're only negative away from uh, accepting our demand, so. We've almost got them. Almost. Yeah, negative eight. Yeah, we're almost there. I'm about to take another planet, too, so we should have it. I'm just flying around destroying all this stuff because at this point um, the fact that they were even allowed to build a 155 k uh, fleet angers me so I'm going to go around destroy other space stations and make them have to pay minerals to get it back there you go good call um, and then by the time we start another war with them they won't even be remotely as strong we should make it a point to do that every time you're yeah, right. like a really, lot of times we don't. We're like, we won, yay! We don't even think about it. Yeah, go through and like, <laughs> just go through and just do like a super cripple on their economy. Just make it so that they have to spend so many minerals rebuilding their spaceports and mining stations that by the time they manage to rebuild all of that, they don't have it. We're already declaring war again before they can even rebuild their fleets. Right. And at the rate that I've got everybody following me, I mean, look at this blob in my system of units following me. It's almost, like, disgusting. <laughs> I've even got the Velpecula stars here. It's insane. The list is so long, it, like, goes off my monitor. Alright, they're negative six. So we've almost got them. I think we said we were going, we have to attack somebody next after this. We just didn't know who. Did we discuss I it? Remember, we, we did. I'm trying to remember. I thought it was, it was. the Praetor Republican colonies. We said that we were going to have to go for them, right? They're not allied with the Felinus Redacticus. And, oh, that's right. We couldn't. They had association status. That's what it was. They uh, had association status. That's a mess. That is a mess. Yeah, I guess I'll go bombard this planet and we'll take it. So if we've got association status with them, we're going to have to fight the Felinus Redacticus. They're still well, super powerful. Who's left? There's nothing else for us to... There's no one else for us to beat up on, is there? There isn't. No, just these guys. We killed it's the Silver Enforcers. Yeah. See, now we've got other people we can go to war with, but they're all in a giant defensive pack. We just peaced out with them? Yeah, they peaced out with us. They oh, surrendered. Good. We took all their territory. Oh, we liberated a bunch of people too? Did we? We didn't have war goals to liberate. Oh, no, I guess we didn't. I guess we didn't. We just took a bunch of their territory. I'll slow it down to normal. We have five. Oh, they became your protectorate, that system, Marfark. That's why it looks oh. weird because they were a protectorate under them and we took it. So they became your protectorate. Oh, really? So you can release them if you want to, or just keep them as a protectorate. It doesn't really matter. Release them. And I guess you could just keep them. It doesn't matter. I'm wondering, I'd like to eventually integrate them. 
I guess is what I'm hoping. Okay, let me get these plants divided up. So tail is yours and S Mike's yours, right? Uh Yes? <laughs> I don't I don't really remember. Let me see. Okay, this needs to go into a sector, one of my planets here. Here we go. And I'll just put all this into the, a sector as well. Okay, like that. And then tail and esmic. Well, that gives us a lot of planets right there. For three years. Okay, sent that to you. Awesome. Oh, there we go. Cool. It's all connected. Oh, it's connected up. Yeah. Woo yeah, exactly. <laughs> Connecting your systems back up. <laughs> what? That's madness. Well, let's go ahead. Let's wrap this one up here then, and then we can continue in the next one. Sound good? Yeah, I'm good with that. All right, folks. We'll see you in the next one. Until later, he's a bounce. I'm Mal. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.